before filming in Slima, we took our time wandering around the town. So we managed to find all the places connected with Russian exiles. Exiles Bay, San Ignatio College, Otrada Ballet Studio, San George Barracks, and Natalie Putyatin Street. In a way, it was like traveling in time, an unforgettable experience. Yes, because there he was, in the hospital there at that time. 1919, yes, yes. Um. This diary is a hundred years old. They were written by a Russian military historian, Konstantin Voyensky, one of those Russian exiles who arrived in Malta in 1919. In fact, you know, this about the exiles. Yes, and yes, so yes. there's this permanent um, uh, um, uh, record of, of the, the, the Russian refugees, which can never go away, because <laughs> up to this day we still call it the exiles. So. The Russian Cultural Center in Valletta is currently working on a documentary that highlights cross-cultural and artistic connections between Russia and Malta. The film tells the stories of Princess Natalie Putatin Tabone, Boris Edwards and Konstantin Voyensky, who came to Malta in 1919 fleeing the Russian Revolution of October 1917. All of them have found their last refuge in Malta and were buried at Tabraxia Cemetery in Pietà. The authors of the documentary have done a tremendous job searching for materials and sources of information, interviewing Maltese and foreign culture experts. So Putyatin fell into a space where there was an opportunity. She took that up because I think she was bored, partly bored being in Malta. Um, if you read the book in chapter two, um, the golden era, uh, golden age of ballet, in a way, that is exactly what happened. She found herself firstly needing to move and to exercise. So she took out her, her point shoes and, and started doing class on her own. All in all, it was a unique experience for the film crew. It helped them to immerse into the early 20th century atmosphere and tell the story about Russian Maltese common past. Speaking with our esteemed cultural experts, we quite unexpectedly ended up having long and detailed conversations about the living legacy of the Russian exiles in Malta. In some cases, Russian Maltese connections even went beyond uh, the geographical borders of our two countries. The film crew was shooting at Musa, the Malta National Community Art Museum, National Library of Malta, as well as towns and villages where memories of Russian exiles are still present. We address our documentary to the new generations. Young people should know the history of Russia in all aspects. Legacy of Putatin, Edwards and Voyensky is a perfect example of how representatives of other cultures can influence the local scene and up to a point, the world culture fabric.